What's up Yard Freakos and thanks for joining me on this video. So today I'm going to be cutting my buffalo grass lawn for the first time this season and I'm also going to be applying some fertilizer to the uh, buffalo grass seedlings that just popped up. So as you can see I uh, removed the seed fabric uh, from my buffalo grass seedlings here and they're doing pretty darn good man. I got a pretty good establishment of buffalo grass this time around. I'm looking forward to it filling in by the end of the year. So there you go. And just to give you guys some perspective. All right, so my hand, normal size hand, goes down to the grass. That's about how tall the buffalo grass is. I have not cut it this season. So this is the awesome thing about buffalo grass is that it is just a, like, this is as tall more or less as it'll get in the season. So if you're okay with uh, buffalo grass being this, um, this tall, and just stalling out, then you don't even have to cut it. I'm just cutting it because I wanted to uh, make sure it fills in really, really well and knows to spread out a little bit more. And that's why I'm gonna be cutting it today. Yeah, it's just one of those great things about buffalo grass, you know, is that it's a, it is such a low maintenance lawn once you get it established. It really does not take care, take a lot of care and feeding to make it look good. So with that said, let's get the fertilization started. be using the organite and be adding a half pound of nitrogen to this particular application and then we'll add another half pound around 4th of July and that's all you'll need. You only need about two pounds of nitrogen per year for uh, buffalo grass to get established. So uh, with that said, let's go for it. Okay, so today I'm gonna to be mowing my grass at two and a half inches. Uh, buffalo grass does not like to be mowed shorter than two and a half inches. It is not a grass that tolerates being cut low well. So for me, two and a half inches, I believe is just the right height to tell this grass, hey, stop spending all your energy making leaves and growing up. Send out stolons to keep growing out. That way I can get good coverage of my lawn here. Uh, it's really up to you how much, how uh, tall you want to grow it. Like I said, you can literally just leave it the way it is. And if you prefer, or if you like the look of that tall grass, then you're good to go. But three and a half, four, four and a half inches, it really doesn't matter. So with me, two and a half inches is what we're going to be doing today. So let's get started. And that is looking good. Look at that. See how thin these, these blades of grass are? It's awesome. Yep, 
about perfect cut. I might bring it up to three and a half uh, later this summer just to give it less stress, but there you go. Well, that just about wraps up things for this video. You guys have a good week. Take it easy. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you next time.